I'm Chillmonger. Fuck Star Wars for every time they used the Force, because it was wrong. Every single time. Like, every time the Force was used in this movie, I could complain about it. I challenge you, if you liked the movie, to challenge me in the comment section. Amazing Spider-Man. Was it amazing? It was good. It was well written. But it also did something in the last comic that uh, disappointed me. Look, okay, so it ended with him dying, right? Spidey died. Turns out the last two pages of that comic book and the first two of here were imaginary scenarios. Okay. Well, the thing is they did it again. They visited other timelines where things went sour. Except this time they did it with a purpose. You see over here at the bottom that it's Mephisto. That was one of the attempts that they tried to get Doctor Doom. And then on this page, I laughed. It's Doctor Doom and Spidey. They're all chained up with Mephisto. Well, you had to imagine that was going to end up bad. I'm okay if, if, if the goal was to tell a joke. All right. But the other times the goal was to show us things that didn't matter and didn't get anywhere. That's why I have a problem with that. And in the last issue, there was that double page spread where you could just see Spidey just in the center of the page. And then there was like four shots of alternate Marvel futures. I didn't need to see that it did nothing to progress the story. And then the final, the, the very next page of that comic book, you could see the same thing with people in the past from different stories, except in the foreground, it was Spider-Man talking and, and progressing. Um, the, t the time that they do try is, hey, I know what to do. What if we just tell him the truth? 30% you know, success, 50% success rate. And I'm like, yeah, that's funny. So that's what they're going to try to do with Dr. Doom because he doesn't see himself as a villain, remember? And uh, Dr. Doom works. Why though? Because he doesn't like to be worked. He doesn't like to be convinced he is doing something on his behalf, or like a, to his knowledge, but he's actually being manipulated. And that's what's happening here, even more so than we realize at this page. Um, artwork was on, was on top of its game with Spider-Man spinning the, 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 the tank. It was so effective. So I love the artwork in this comic all the way through. And he gets choked and everything. It's a trap is what he told Dr. Doom. You think I'm lying? Okay. Let me get to the page with Miguel O'Hara because the artwork of his smile was so, look at that, was so effective. I didn't read a single 2099 event, but I could tell that everything is safe. He's back with his woman. Um, anyone who thinks that the 2099 tie-ins were relevant, they weren't. Because this was kind of a cool sp Spidey story. And I didn't care enough to pick up those books. I don't care about what the, where the future is, because it's the future, not the now. And when we get to, t I'm not going to be alive for 2099, God knows. But I don't think I will be. And when we get there, Peter Parker's still going to be the Spider-Man, not Miguel O'Hara. Clairvoyant is still going to stick around. Great. Oh, by the way, Statue of Liberty. Every comic book artist moving forward, I better not see them draw that in the New York skyline. Just like in Black Panther and the Ages of Wakanda. There's a smiley face carved into the moon, according to that comic book. And if this is all cont continuity, if it's all the same universe... I better not see a smiley face on the moon. I better not see a Statue of Liberty in New York. Um, here we go. This was where things get interesting. Plot twist. The mustache twirling, even though it's a female, explaining the plan. We always had control of Dr. Doom's Doombots, except for the part where we couldn't kill anybody because he's he, he doesn't want to kill, so his, his machines can't do that. Still, though, because of that, Dr. Doom would never admit to it He's just got to fuck Spider-Man is right. And then he leaves. Because Dr. Doom's Doombots were controlled by other people. And he can't admit to it because, it because of his ego. They, they planned this out so perfectly. Very strategically. Which means that the writer you know, gets credit for being strategic and, and writing a great story. However, it reminds me of the Pearl Harbor thing. This was taken from, 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 from real history. How... Japan was known to do the attack, but they needed, Americans needed for Japan to do it to justify their acts. And there's question of, in recent history, if this was tried again for America to have a reason to retaliate just to make it look like... Anyways, that's where this came from. That's what that made me think about. And I'm, I'm okay with that. 
but want to just address that, that woke stuff, you know, the things that, uh, that make comics not sell and everything. But this was a fine story, not necessary to read 29.9, just like it wasn't necessary to read fucking the Absolute Carnage tie-ins that Amazing Spider-Man had. I didn't need to read those. I did. I didn't need to. I think the next um, Spider-Man event that they do, I'll skip on the tie-ins because I kind of know better. And because the X-Men are doing bi-weekly books. And I got to be more smart with my money. I can't do Fallen Angels and Excalibur. I got to quit that. Both those comic books. But uh, I'm enjoying Marauders and X-Men. And... Where's my other poster? I don't have my other posters. But um, what are the other comic books? X-Force, of course. And New Mutants. I love those. Subscribe to the channel by clicking on that. Uh, if you thought Spider-Man, uh, Star Wars had good moments where they used the Force, I challenge you to challenge me. So spoiler alert in the comment section.